Yeah, great question. So that's back to 2005. I was um, in my, uh, my third year as a professional soccer player and really it was born out of necessity. I, uh, I had gotten a $5,000 bonus from um, playing and I didn't know what to do with it. Uh, whether or not to, to invest in the stock market, whether to just put it in my savings account to buy a car or whatever. Um, it wasn't a lot of money, but um, you know, I, I was always interested in real estate. My, my friend's mom was a real estate agent, and she said, hey, you know, guys, uh, if you invest with my son, you guys can put your assets together and maybe buy a house together. And it was kind of like a light, light bulb went off in our heads. And so we thought, hey, great, you know, we'll partner together, uh, my friend and I. And we went out uh, in, in Denver and we just uh, canvassed the streets, you know, we just went like, you know, I, I just remember going after soccer practice and driving up and down the streets looking for, for sale uh, signs because there, there was no Zillow back in those days. Um, you know, we hadn't hired a broker or anything. So uh, one day, we found a, a house that was uh, in a pretty sad state of repair, and you know we 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 made an offer on it. We did all the flooring ourselves, we did all the painting, um, we did some electrical work, and uh, it was a great experience. And you know, that was really where I got bitten by the bug. That's where it started for me. And uh, I was always thinking, as a professional athlete, you know, when's my next season going to be my last one? When, you know, when's let that last game going to come? And so I always wanted to be prepared for that next step. And for me, real estate was the, you know, it was what I wanted to get into when I was done. When this opportunity came up, um, I was, uh, we, we owned uh, a number of apartment buildings around town and it was COVID and, and COVID hit and it was very difficult to manage those, those, those uh, properties. So I wanted to get into something uh, that, uh, where I could talk to people. You know, when you're in residential real estate, you know, sometimes the tenant uh, owner relationship is not very good. Whereas here, you can have conversations with people and you can try to figure things out to help each other grow uh, your, your, your business. And so when I thought, man, I could buy a building with 66 tenants built in uh, and, you know, there's all these wonderful things happening in Salem, I was like, I'm in. We're, we're very excited about what we've got happening with this building. When I took over in January, there were a number of spaces that we needed to lease up that were ready to go that we got leased up, which was great. Uh, we've got a few that we still need to build out and do some improvements on that we're you know, only weeks away from. And then we're gonna do a, an upgrade to the facade of the building. So we're gonna invest uh, uh, over half a million dollars in the exterior of the building. We're gonna put some new canopies on, we're gonna put some new signage on, and we're really gonna spruce up uh, this building because you know, really, if you look at it uh, from the outside, it's just a concrete shell. And I think it has more personality and these tenants, they deserve to have uh, a bit more uh, of a unique look to this building. I think that's what we're gonna, we're gonna get uh, when we do that facade upgrade. It's interesting when uh, I came through and looked at the building and I looked at the number of tenants we had, uh, personal care came up a lot and we've got uh, uh, over 25 small businesses that are devoted to personal care, whether it's uh, you know hair care or getting your uh, eyelashes done um, or wax uh, or something uh, along those lines. And so we want to be uh, you know friendly uh, to, to those folks who are, are trying to to do those things, it's usually, that's a female clientele. Uh, so we wanna be a, a more female friendly in this building. Um, so that's part of sprucing up the facade. And we've done some things with, uh, you know, some color coordinations inside just to get the, the color scheme that's a little bit uh, brighter uh, and friendlier. Um, and we obviously just wanna focus on, you know, safety as well. Uh, you know, the, there's, um, we've got a, a full-time uh, security uh, person who's on site at all times of the day to make sure the building is safe. Uh, so there's a lot of components that, that, that go into that. Uh, but one of the things I'm, I'm most excited for in the future is uh, we've got uh, two pieces of land that we can develop on. So you're talking about vision, at some point in time um, we're going to be able to uh, break ground and we're going to have you know, hopefully uh, a mixed use building uh, in the backside uh, parcel over there. Uh, that's going to be the north side and then on the south side 
uh, over here we're going to have uh, some sort of um, a, a drive-through business restaurant coffee or um, you know burger place something to those lines so hopefully it'll increase some retail traffic uh, for, for our building and you know I, I'm, I'm just envisioning an ecosystem where small businesses can thrive uh, with this building and with those parcels. You know, I, I, I haven't been able to keep up as much as I used to because I, I used to work for the Timbers as a broadcaster. So I used to be you know, behind the camera interviewing and doing things like that uh, with the team. So I used to have really inside knowledge of the team. So I haven't been able to do that as much, but I still have you know, my connections with the team. Uh, we still have season tickets. We go to all the games and, and we, you know, we love going to Providence Park uh, you know, with the kids on the weekend. And, watching the game of soccer because you know, when I was a kid we didn't have that we, 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 we major league soccer didn't start till I was a sophomore in high school so uh, to get to be able to take my kids to games uh, is really special so I, I always savor that opportunity every time we get a chance.